Today we will study what are the required conditions so that current flows in a conductor. Okay, the first condition what we need is that there should be a path that we will call circuit and I will name it closed path. circuit and then second thing required is a driver or a force we will call it electromotive force that is driving force okay in this closed path we have conductors and other members which we will call elements. For electromotive force, the driving force will be given by many things in our nature. One is cell, other is dynamo and there may be other storage of energies. Okay, now when we call this closed path circuit. Suppose I have a bulb, I want to light it up, then I will connect it with a switch. I put a dimmer here, this is a dimmer and I want current should flow through it then for flowing the current I should complete a circuit and if I complete a circuit there are charges in the conductors these charges should move but how the charges will move there should be somebody to move the charge and that is a driver driving force this driving force is given by something which I put here and I call it a cell that is electromotive cell, chemical cell. This chemical cell will do something and that is here are the charges and this will push them. It will give them energy and with that energy it will push them. Just like we have compressed a spring. In electrostatics I told you the analogy when we compress the charges then those charges, energy, what we uh, spend on it, on its compression, that is converted into potential energy of those charges and we measure it here, we measure it as potential of this plate. This potential, this potential, there is a difference between the two, we call it potential difference. Now, when we leave it here, then whatever work we have done by compression these charges again repel out and comes out from here they come out the same energy there is a source of energy here here we have not pressed it there are chemicals in it we will study it in emf portion when we are studying cell but here this is a device a cell which has got energy and with this energy it is continuously pushing them out giving them certain energy. So pushing them out giving it certain energy so what do they do? They move in the conductor, they move in the conductor, they move in the conductor and again they come here. If when they reach here again this cell gives them energy gives them energy and again from here it moves like this. So it is cell is like a pump of energy. Like we bring it here and from this place it will lift it. Lift it, press it again and send it here. Now energy is lost, finished, finished. This will give them energy again and push it again. 
and in this way the charges keep on moving and remember one thing in a circuit there is no starting point there is no ending point it is a circuit a closed circuit like if i give you steering and ask you to rotate it which is the starting and which is the closing point answer no there is no starting no closing point but still we give it a driving force we hold it like this and move it the whole steering moves here this steering is made of electrically charged particles electrically charged particles all these particles either they move together or they stop together so remember the current is flowing here and it is not flowing here not possible current is flowing here and it is not flowing here not possible because this is one complete steering like joint together structure if you move everything will move if you stop everything will stop that is with the electric current so the charges will move all over it and who is giving them force or energy to move we have one agent here which is full of energy that may be a cell that may be an electrical dynamo in our case in my house whatever this energy is coming through current this is from dynamo of the power house that is in the circuit and here i send these two lines to power house this and this is my house so from power house the charges are coming like this and they go to power house in the power house this circuit is complete it is not broken remember the circuit has to be complete continuity has to be there if if for this complete circuit of 5 km i have a small break here all the currents will stop and you have seen it a small fuse is blown off complete house electricity is off why that fuse is here so what is necessary there should be a circuit and that circuit should be complete only then current will flow there should be a driving agent which will have electromotive force and because of this electromotive force this current will flow in there so these are the conditions for flow of current now in the next lecture uh, we will see a different type of currents that uh, there may be currents which are always going in one direction there is one which is going in both the direction there are one which are in our nature start for a very small time and close some currents are changing in magnitude some are in direction we have given them separate name so we will get an introduction in the next lecture thank you